trying to remember me to a mutual acquaintance will say, you know, Ceci, five foot, uh, brown hair, the lesbian. <laughs> <laughs> where I think we're at a point in society where it would be unacceptable to say, you know, Neil, the gay. I'm tired of being a the. I'm tired of being an ism. Lesbianism. <laughs> I looked up ism as a definition just to see what I was dealing with. Miriam Webster Dictionary said, a set of beliefs, particularly one that you disapprove of. <laughs> Cheers, Mim. <laughs> mum, Mim, Mum, Mim. <laughs> Other famous isms, Miriam likes to remind us, are racism, sexism, plagiarism, and Thatcherism. <laughs> Jolly bunch to be rubbing shoulders with there. <laughs> Wikipedia was slightly more forgiving. It said, a political ideology or artistic movement. <laughs> I can deal with that. Some of my moves are very artistic. <laughs> oh, by the way, that reminds me. Um, the scissoring thing? It's not, in my experience, a thing. <laughs> I've been sleeping with women since I was 15 years old, and never once did I imagine that bashing the bones of our pelvis <laughs> would produce any sensation other than pain. <laughs> Clearly something dropped up by a man, and very telling guys of what you think constitutes female pleasure. <laughs> That's an F see me after class. <laughs> We've got to get that ism of the end of lesbianism and transgenderism while we're at it. Because everything stems from vernacular. Everything, the way we talk about things, dictates how we feel about them. And I've just got this sneaky feeling that that little ism keeps me living in a city where the bus stops and billboards rarely display campaigns that bring me in from outside the frame. Thank you.